Australian for. So Wesley is a great player. I have been following him for a long time and I think his play is very inspiring. And I've been a fan for, for a while. I think his best was 2016, 2017 when he won like 10 tournaments in a row. Um, He's, he's one of the few people who managed to get to the 800. Interesting. Or I think it's a Nobel team. I'm sure he's got it prepared. Okay, but so. I think uh, my king is still in the center. What is the theory of this time? I'm going to pass a long. I'm just probably. making some move, trying to be fast and not to get low on time. Still a bit annoying. But I think I'll just pass a long. Okay, yeah, Long Castle is a logical plan. Maybe Queen E7 was not the most accurate move. Does it take? If he takes with the bishop, I have Queen E4 check. Hmm. And then I take the pawn on the I forgot about this. Bishop E3, Queen B4. Yeah, I should focus because. Uh, is he really going for that pawn? That seems a bit pretty uh, to me. But. Maybe, maybe you can do that. Yeah, I mean, so he takes a castle. Pawn, because of the open B file, and he's got... His queen has to go back. Go, maybe I go F4. Trying to play for compensation. Yeah, he can play that too. I'll, I'll activate my knight. Because my knight was very passive. Seven, five. Yeah, again, this is a very interesting and tough yeah. match. I think Glenn is underrated at this player. Yes. Because he's not as well known as like level oh, one or, or Christian. But I think he's pretty much underrated. He can beat anybody on a good team. Yeah, probably I should um, allow this to be three. Maybe yeah. I should play something with yeah, three of us. But this transition <coughs> is still interesting. Um, um, so you go. It just has my chances against him. 50 50. Maybe I'm, fly, I'm a slight favorite. Yeah, sure whatever. Fe5. Can I take with a knight? Shouldn't be too bad for me on the M1. And I have the 7th very solid. I think it's some compensation here. I'm still up a pawn. I have some play on the G file. Should I go like F5? Be hidden with B6, King D7. I'm pretty satisfied right now. I don't think I have but enough compensation. Though. Yeah, I'm That's well known problem. not to convert the advantages, so. <coughs> In which so I'm going to do this one thing. If you find it, you have to, to, to convert them. That's difficult to defend against. What am I doing here? But one good thing is I'm a bit ahead on the clock um, at all times. I don't know. Because like in the other match against Maxim, I think right. once uh, we get a chaotic right. position and we each have a few seconds, I think I'm going to be in this. Right, you're going to do it. If we each have 30 seconds. Let's go knight f5. Should I play rook g6 or should I chop that knight off? Rook f5. Rook g6, bishop g5, rook e8. Right. This opening has not been going very well. knight g7. It's extremely well prepared. Let's chop that knight off. Bishop f5, rook f5. That's why he is one of the best players. Not exactly what uh, I want to do, but we have Rook G8 coming next move. Okay, so he wants one on G2 needs some protection. That is bad. He will be from A1. From A2 is hanging. I have Rook F2 so, at some point, but that doesn't seem yeah, like a definite like defense make. It's continuous. If I move the I group, then it's going to be A2. So you can meet Rook G8 with Rook F2. This is not good. Everything defended at the moment. Let's go Bishop E3. I play Rook E6. King the Knight of E7. Yeah. I really want to play Knight at 6. I right? have Rooks. So I don't have. Um, it's 
to worry too much about Shane Poo. Yeah. But this well, is not right. If I can activate my knife, it would be seven. So maybe I play C3 just to defend A2 and then a rook can come to F1 trying to go to F7 or F5. <coughs> yeah, now they do is weak, right? I'm turning like this. Is he threatening? It's my A4. If you play Bishop E3, maybe? Bishop so, Knight A4, Rook F5. Okay. Queen C3. I'm sure Black is winning there. So Knight A4, maybe C4. Complications. Uh, I'll play rook f7 here. Oh, right. It's a better move. Rook f7 with d6. Yeah, much better. Okay, so. I mean, black should be winning. Rook check 3 rook 5 It's just last one. E4. Okay, let's go rook f7. I'm turning queen g6. Take on f7, I guess. Yeah, queen g6, right? Queen g6. H3. Rook H3. Rook H3. This is very bad for me. Maybe Rook H2. I don't think I did. That's not so bad. Rook H3. Yeah, I'm winning up by two pawns here. Picking up E4, picking up C3. This game is over. This game is totally lost. I got a pass G pawn. I got a lot of pass pawns. Okay, good game. Finally, I didn't mess my bad picture. Okay, yeah, this is awesome. Okay, good game. But I should have scored that first yeah. game. That was a uh, pretty bad play. It's good, but it's not game. Whatever, I should have lost many games in the past. Okay, so I'm a black again. Okay, now. yeah. So change the open. I wasn't sure if he was going to play all Caravan today, like he did against. Uh, right. What's his name? Against Fabiano. Fabiano, he played Italian all Italian game this time? But I have 3 5 I actually okay. watched five, Fabiano's five. game. So that game is very well prepared. Fabiano always uh, talks oh, very good things about, about chess. That is the move for Bishop B6. It's always very theoretical. <coughs> Castle. And he talks more about the moves. Bishop G4, I believe, is the move. Compared to Levon, Levon talks Bishop more about first and stories. But Fabiano is very theoretical, so it's very interesting to watch his game. So I actually watched that. Um, that's, that's yeah, in that match, they have played all the weapons, every, every game. 97 is the move, right? So I, I actually thought they'd do the same thing. 97 is the move, castle, and then c6 is the move. But he plays e5 and c5 too. C6, bishop e3. Yeah, C6, bishop e3. And then some like f5, I suppose. Yeah, bishop e3. There's a knight lot of knight. theory in this position. Knight like five, knight g3, knight g4, knight g4. Yeah, I think that's the way to go. I put this rope right. Rope e1. So, rook f1. I also play this opening for white. A few games already. I think it could be a little bit better for white. I don't remember Maybe exactly which rule which to use on E1 or D1. I mean, E1 or D1. So, e probably doesn't matter too like much, but the difference yeah. is that like if I use the A rook, the if other rook would be protected. Five. Well, if I use the A rook, rook my other rook would be covered. Yeah, that is supposed to be the line. Maybe. Ninety four, Bishop E four, Bishop E four, Bishop E four, that's the line, yeah. Right? Yeah, I think like Bishop E four, Bishop E four, Bishop E four, the field got back. Uh, something like that. Thousand seventeen. I have the black pieces. But I think in that game, Bishop E four, uh, Bishop E six, either use the A rook. I do I take first? Do I take on E four first? I have rook a check. I should take first. Rook A1 or Rook F1. And then Rook Bishop B6. But here I have some E6 stuff. E1, Queen E7. E6, Queen E7, A4. E6. I think. Okay, E6 immediately. Take. Wait. I thought Queen E7 was going to move up to E6. Queen E6 or Rook E6, I'm supposed to go up in a shade. But E1. 
I can play Rook B1, right? Sing yeah, okay. Yeah. Rook B1, Queen E8. Yeah. The shop is also absolutely Rook B1, Queen C7, too. Yeah, Rook B1, Queen C7. 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 Yeah, Rook B1, Queen C7.
actually believe that it works. It's like, uh, it is very vulnerable there, but at the same time, it's more very active also. Maybe the opponent is C6. What the fuck? In G4? No, no, no it's in the right. I guess over. No. Yeah, I almost used the. Wait, what? I don't know what that game was about. Was made, but it was a weird thing. Anyway, 